With over 14,000 students at North Dakota State University, there is a high demand for student-focused news and media. The campus radio station, newspaper, and TV studio are all student-run and fairly well-known. While everyone knows their name, few know what really happens behind their doors. I just remember going to all ages shows at the Red Raven downtown or different different things like that and talking to bands, starting to find out what booking shows was like. And then I got this email from KNDS my freshman year and I was just hooked. The KNDS radio station is nestled in a very nondiscreet building on University Drive. Within is a quaint little studio that contains thousands of hours of a variety of and music. This is Saul Williams and this is List of Demands. There are over 30 DJs that do shows in a given week. The sheer number of them gives the station a lot of variety. KNDS is radio for everyone. We have techno, electronica, dance music, we have indie alternative, we have bluegrass, we have classical, we have funk, we have soul, we have blues, um, pop music, rap, hip hop. We kind of cover it all. The station lets you I mean, it plays everything, and it's radio for everyone. That's kind of the, the model that we have on our website. And I'd have to say, like, a majority of all my like, top 10 favorite artists right now are I all found through this station. The building may be old, but KNDS added a state-of-the-art production room this fall to add more content. Since our equipment stopped working entirely, we got brand new equipment. This is, again, like I said, all digital equipment. Um, it is meant to be beat up. Uh, like most equipment is for broadcast, and uh, this will surpass 25, this will last a good 25 years by the time we need to replace this. The thing that I love most about KNDS is that we're so involved in our community. Uh, we work with a lot of community DJs here as well, and so we throw shows downtown, we, we put on local events, uh, we'll have our DJs actually perform live sets. I really want to get our campus involved in what we're doing here. Not everyone knows who we are, not everyone knows what we're playing. Um, just focusing our programming a little bit more to what the students want to hear I think would be a really big push uh, for us to get into. Um, right now we just kind of try and cover it all, so small steps. There's this challenge and also a liberty to take something that doesn't matter to anybody else and then type it up in a way that is actually going to make an impact for someone other than the people that are in the story. To make people stop and think, wow, there is stuff happening that's worth paying attention to. The Spectrum is by far the oldest media organization on campus, with the paper being established in 1896. Its history has made it one of the most well-known organizations at NDSU. I think that we definitely have a niche. We're very specialized as a paper. We're, our, our focus is the campus first and the community around it second. So occasionally we'll go out into the community, but we'll always favor editorially something happening on campus over something happening off campus. Like most colleges, NSU doesn't always have a steady flow of news, which can be a challenge for the writers. Every now and then there's this huge um, a slur of things that you gotta go cover. In fact, it seems like too much. But then other times there's just dead spells. It's like, what am I gonna put in my section? You're practically scrounging for things to put in there. The Spectrum's college focus can even be observed through its advertisements. Most, the most common ones are bars. I have the hub, and that's pretty risque sometimes. <laughs> even though many newspapers struggle these days, the Spectrum is in a unique position and finds success in print. Well, we're in a unique situation as a campus paper. Part of the reason people read our paper is because it's available everywhere. So our paper edition is actually doing quite well. We generate most of our ad revenue from that. However, their success hasn't stopped them from staying ahead of the online curve. Through the past year, I really worked at developing our website, and um, I was really successful in that. We have increased our web traffic sevenfold um, 
and our Facebook activity has increased 10 times as much as it was at the beginning of the year. With things going quite well for the Spectrum, the important thing is that they just keep doing what has brought them success. Uh, we try to capture just about everything that happens. The advantage is, is that it really contains the identity of NDSU as a campus. In five, four, three, two, one, fade up, both their mics. <laughs> Within the newly constructed Bison Block on 12th Avenue is the headquarters for the Bison Information Network, one of the newest organizations at NDSU. MPIN is very new, uh, only been in operation for just over three years now. Uh, and I feel like when I, when I first started uh, as just a regular sports reporter that, that we were kind of still trying to figure out who we are, getting our feet wet type of thing. But now we've really moved into, I think, somebody that can really compete, not only you know against other media on campus, but against other television stations in the region. The most well-known aspect of BIN is SUTV, where students put together a fully featured news program. I, I think something that BIN does really well and something that I've been very proud of is that we really focus on doing things kind of the right way. Television is all about deadlines. Um, and we're really trying to do everything right. So we have a newscast every week that starts at 7 o'clock on Thursday night. Uh, and if we're not ready, uh, you know, there's going to be nothing but black on our channel so we've really got to we've got to hit those deadlines we've got to have our scripts turned in we've got to be on the air at seven o'clock uh, the hardest part of my job is definitely the amount of work that i have to put into it it's fun but it's a lot of work um, the hardest part is probably managing everyone's different schedules um, everyone is you know a student first and it's hard to manage you know going to school around their classes and assigning stories that will still fit with their schedule uh, we really build camaraderie with everybody in our group. We go out and we have fun together and it's not just like we work together and it's an organization, we're all friends. One of the best things about BIN is that you get to work so much with other people and you really get to bounce your ideas off of them so it allows for a lot of creativity and a lot of hard work to be done faster and more efficiently. Bison Information Network members gain skills in nearly every aspect of news and commercial production. Uh, and that's kind of nice. That's something that a lot of BIN members are very involved with is, is the entire aspect of BIN, not just one thing. They're very involved in the reporting, the production, uh, just all aspects that we have. And When it's showtime, it's all hands on deck to produce the show. North Dakota high school students get a chance to experiment with their creativity. Students and faculty at NDSU got the chance this week to give back to the community. Local and world famous artists. Like We're really focusing on making sure that they know how to do everything when they leave here so that they can be valuable interns and hopefully valuable, you know, first time employees at a television station when they graduate from school. 